for our city hall. Did the show one time before. So funny, we asked him to come back. J. Anthony Brown! <laughs> How's everybody doing? Okay, okay. I figure if Rosie can rap, I could do a country wrestling song. What about it? Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. It's a great song. I wrote the song. And the name of the song, kind of, slow down, slow down now. The name of the song is, I'm a black man, and I like country western music, too. <laughs> Look at the black people going, this better be funny, man. <laughs> oh, everybody clap your hands. Oh, here we go. All right. Woo! Slow down. I don't get out of the beat. There you go. Ever since I can remember, and I'm 30 years old today. Woo. Oh, heavy soul music with a real funky beat was the only kind I would play. You know, Gladys and Jackie and JB and the Tips, you might not believe that it's true. Hey, but I'm a black man, and I like country western music too. Oh, lady, lady, lady. Oh, lady, lady. I try to get myself some privacy. I turned my radio on a country western station and it sounded kind of good to me. Well, I ain't too proud to admit it. Woo! And I ain't handing you no hey, Cause I'm a black man and I like country western music too. Oh, little lady, come on. People at home are really confused now, boy. <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> oh, boy, it's great to be here. It's great to work here. Great to do this comedy, man, because it's weird. A lot, of, a lot of times you do comedy, people won't laugh. A lot of people won't laugh. Especially the people who don't have nice teeth in their mouth. You ever see these people? <laughs> you ever see them, you'll say something funny, they go... <laughs> <laughs> well, you're laughing. It's good. I'm not from L.A. I'm from the South. I'm a Southern guy. I'm from the, and I had to get used out here, because you have people out here who will talk to you for no reason whatsoever. No, they just start talking. You call them street people. I'm from the South, we call them damn nuts. <laughs> they just walk up and start a conversation. Just, yeah, you know, I used to could wear my brother's clothes, but they're too big for me now. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> the weird part about it is you ever have people who come, how many people are actually from LA? I'm not from LA. And you have people who come from out of town, they get real stupid because they want to see weird things. They want to see gangs. You ever hear that? You ever hear people? Where the gangs at? I want to see some gangs. Like, they don't give tours. <laughs> There's no such thing as gang country safari. You know what I'm talking about? You know, you get on a bus, all right, do not feed the gang members. <laughs> Keep your hand in the bus. Did you ever give anybody the L.A. tour? You ever do that? Because I've been there, uh, you know, like, Beverly Hills as many times. I'm, I'm not going anymore. So you just put, put, put people in the car and you make up stuff. You do that? You ever do that? You just make up houses. Yeah, yeah, that's Johnny Cash house right over there. <laughs> <laughs> Arsenio lives right over there. <laughs> Wayne Newton owns his whole damn block. <laughs> they don't know. They're from out of town. Man. Yeah, so I'm getting older now. I mean, I think, the thing I like about it is that you get older, man, your kids are growing up. And my kids are not small anymore, but I miss it. I really miss it. I miss the part about it. Because that's when they're a lot of fun. That's when a lot of fun. You take a small kid. You take a small kid, man, kid. You put him in any situation. It's funny. Remember when you're in the first grade, you're in these school plays? Remember those plays? Those plays? They had like 37 speaking parts. <laughs> they're a lot of fun for the grown-ups, but they would scare the hell out of a kid. <laughs> Very simple play. We've all been there. First grade, six years old. School play like The Coming of the Pilgrims. This is great. <laughs> Don't watch me, huh?
You ever watch small kids drink water? You ever watch them? Those are just talking about losing weight. That's really tough for me, man. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough to lose weight. Because you, you ever get motivated? You say you're going to do it? Like New Year's, we always say we're going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to buckle down. I'm gonna lose some weight. I'm going to eat these donuts. In the morning, I'll run 10 miles. Because they have so many things to help you. They have an exercise program that, come on out, that comes out in here like 5.30 in the morning. Have you seen this damn lady? She's happy as hell. Good morning! We're gonna stretch today! And she's happy because she tapes the shows on Thursdays, right? And she's in bed sleep while you got your big butt out there stretching, huh? <laughs> Set up like that, I'd be happy too, man. It's tough to lose weight. But some people have great success with losing weight. Remember Barry White? Remember how fat he was? Well, he lost a lot of weight. What he did, he said every day he would take his clothes off and he would stand naked in front of the mirror to build his confidence up by looking at himself. He got motivated to lose weight. That's what I said. Yeah. Well, that's a damn good diet. Because I think I could lose weight too if I saw Barry White naked. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Are you hungry? No, I just saw Barry White naked. I don't want a damn thing. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know what else is happening here, man. It's really crazy out here. It's really, really, really crazy, man. One of the problems I have about doing this stuff, man, I love it, making people laugh, it's a lot of fun. Because the, the L.A. situation is like, it's totally different, you know, because you know? a lot of comics, you know, you get to talk about different things, you know, like the, the, the Rodney King situation was kind of touchy. No, it's not funny, it's not funny. But, you know, Rodney's going to get like $83 million, I hope, that's, that's great, I hope he does. And then I thought about it, man, that's a lot of damn money, man. <laughs> and I'm trying to, you know, make fun of the situation, but 83 damn million dollars. I'd take an ass whooping for 83 million dollars. <laughs> so everybody in here can line up and kick the hell out of me for 83 million dollars. <laughs> it's really scary, man. On the way here, I got stopped. I got stopped by police, but it's really good that I had this. part-time job in 7-Eleven. I just kind of, no, I do security. I stand in the corner and I do this. <laughs> Look, you've been a wonderful crowd. Thank you very much. Good night.